good afternoon. Welcome to another match for 4PL Cup number 12. This time it's going to be Key Smash up versus Artstyle's team with new sponsor Eclipsia. And Artstyle actually not being in this game, it seems, uh, though the other four of his team are there. So uh, that is going to be... Uh, that is going to be the game that we're going to see. It's one game. It is a round number two or three match. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out though. And um, we're going to see which one of these teams is going to be making it on. I mean, there's seven rounds in total, and then at the end of the day, there's going to be a best out of three for the finals. It's the winner takes it all prize for one cup, one day, 400 euros for the winner. And uh, we have got ourselves the first band and picks going towards the Dire side, so Eclipsia having that one. We have a Rubik or Shrek as well as a Naga Siren and Invoker band coming out. And the Dark Seer first pick up for Eclipsia. No need to think about that one. As uh, Key Smash thinking about their next pickup, their first pickup, we still have the Tide Hunter in, we still have the TA in, uh, we also still have the Shadow Demon in. That is unusual. But that is uh, not unusual anymore. They want to secure a dual lane for themselves, and they do so in the form of a Chaos Knight Shadow Demon. Of course, it's a dual lane that we have seen more often. I mean, if you land a disru disruption, as well as a Soul Catcher, and you then have a stun on the Reality Rift, that's going to be a kill almost regardless. So we do see that combination more often, and they just wanted to secure that one with their... Uh, with their pickups and Templar Assassin is going to be the pickup here by uh, Eclipsia and I'm curious to see what kind of counter Key Smash wants to have for that. I mean there's still Venomance in the pool but if Eclipsia picks up, no they pick up the Chen instead so gonna have, I mean their lane's looking pretty simple right now as in for me to find out what they are. Darkseer, Solo, Cyan, then Templar Assassin, mid Chen in the jungle and need a dual lane. Uh, but yeah with the Temporal Assassin there, where is the Venomancer? And if there's not the Venomancer, what else? there could still be a Enigma that they could have against that as well. I mean, Enigma is a pretty decent counter towards the Temporal Assassin with his Eidolons, able to pull up the Refraction very fast as well, even though it's not that common, not as good as a Venomancer either, but if they have to pick up a Venomancer, that also means that either they have to solo him, or they have to have no hero in the jungle, and that's going to be crippling them either way, because of course we just saw the downside of the tri lane in the previous game, where... Um, the, the team with the... Dire team ban. Okay. Okay. So Doombringer had a rework. The restriction on the level heroes that, that, that he steals, uh, that he eats with his devourer has been removed, so he can eat any creep he wants. Which actually makes him a viable jungle hero. And the Scorched Earth is actually pretty good against Refraction, I believe. I believe it ticks through, as in it, it ticks it off. Ten seconds remaining. I have to say, I, I'm i still being a bit... I, I This is going to be the first match that I'm casting with a Doombring in the game, I think. Well, maybe the second, but at least the first one since the patch. And Igma will get burned out as well as the Tide Hunter. <laughs> And there is a Doombringer in the game. I'm so tempted to type in the chat that there's going to be a Doombringer incoming, but I want you to be surprised as well as I was. We still have uh, apparently um, apparently Eclipsia thinking that Shadow Demon or Chaos Knight is going to be on a tri lane with them because an ish separation gets banned out. Of course, it's a good counter towards the chat, and he can solo in as well. It's also a good combination with the Chaos Knight. Maybe, maybe a nice ban out. I'm not sure if Key Smash would want to go for that though. Ah. And there is the Shadow Shaman being banned out as well, as well as the Windrunner. So uh, what we are still expecting from from the Eclipsia is a dual lane. And they ban out the Venomancer just to have a dual lane without a Venomancer. There's of course still a lot of heroes in that can create that dual lane. Of course, there's still a, um, what's the phrase, Crystal Maiden in the game, as, uh, as well as, you know, a lot of other supports. So... We're just going to see which one they're going to pick up and which carry they're going to go have with that. If it's even going to be a carry or they're going to have the Templar Assassin as a carry. Uh, for a Key Smash, what do they still need? I mean, they have a dual lane, they have a jungle hero. They need two solo lanes. And we do see solo lanes, at least two. Tied on to being a solo lane as well. Being banned out from uh, from Eclipse, yeah. So, But we still have the, the, Queen of pa the Queen of Pain, the Beast Mask, and the Puck. And mid lane heroes such as the Shadow Fiend, right, Train right. Protector, you know, those, those kind of. Well, Train Protector not really mid lane, but he's still a solo lane. But there's still a lot of solo lanes who are in the game, so we're gonna see which one they're gonna be picking up. And uh, for. 
for uh, Eclipse, yeah, they pick up the Dragonite, and I just, I just realized that I just have to check out who is going to be who in um, Eclipse here, because I see Unstop and Dubas having their right name on, but uh, the rest doesn't, as I know that one of them is going to be Mag. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to check it out during the game, we'll do that. We'll check out their Steam profile, see who's who. Five seconds remaining. Because they could actually all be complete with Bulletproof being Arthur, so who knows. Reserve time. It's nice to see Eclipse here trying back to be in uh, Dota 2, though. It's a good thing having more companies able to uh, to be in there. Reserve time for Key Smash? They still have a little time, though. One minute. Oh, there goes the chat. Doom! Yes, it's Doom. We're gonna wait for the pick. Solo pick. Solo lanes. And then this question. Who is gonna be playing, uh... The mid lane, and what does he want to play, and who's going to be playing the side lane, and what does he want to play, and, and are the choices that what they want to play actually fitting into the lineups? Team fight wise, we don't have that much left. As in, let's kind of solo lane. They like only have 30 seconds left. And I already mentioned all the solo lane heroes that can be potential on it, but I do think that if they think about this one, they already know also which one they're going to pick up next. Lina. Okay, that is not what I was expecting. Dive that will mean that Doombringer might not be in the jungle. Oh, that would be a shame. But we have seen Lina before, and Lina is one of those heroes that uh, is good in combination with either a Shadow Demon or a Chaos Knight. It's a solid stun following up on either a Chaos Bolt or a Disruption. It's just that simple. And she got buffed as well. So, uh, she's, she's pretty decent. She is definitely pretty decent, and that's a lot of burst damage going through. And if you if you imagine them being on a tri lane and then Doobring and taking on a solo lane, so no jungle for him. But if they are on a tri lane, that is going to be a very dangerous tri lane to be on. Even though Dragon Knight, if he's going to be there, he's going to be one of those heroes that would be able to survive because he's so tanky. But his support uh, will have to be something that can support him, as in, and not die. So we're going to see what they're going to go for for there. Maybe a Dazzle wouldn't be a too bad idea there. With that heal, with Shallow Grave, of course, there's a lot of stuns, so... Not too well. If she's getting lock stun locked, he won't be able to Shallow Grave himself. But they still have a minute to think about this. Okay. Chikiro is a nice range support, and he doesn't need to come in that close to be able to, to do damage. And... If they see, if she if sees them running towards him, he will be able to throw it on a frost path. But it's still, it's still, as soon as he gets one disable up on him, he's gonna get three. Clinks. And there's the clink. So that will be the last pickup for Key Smash. And I have to say, I haven't seen clinks in a while. And I actually can't remember if he's got a rework. I think he didn't though. Yeah. Well. Okay. Boohoo. His strafe attack speed got increased from 110 to 130. It's it's nice, but it's still clinks. It's not really a difference there. As in, not that big of a difference anyway. And now I just have to switch that one to there, because I obviously, I, I, I cheated, I checked. And, uh, yeah, waiting for the people to pick up their hero before we can go off on this game. And it gives me the time to drink some some extra. And if the next game has a, such a short pause again, I might need to, uh, to find some food first, because really, food is nice and I need it. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I also gotta check out that one. And refresh it. See if uh, there's indeed gonna be a Ghost of League match for me tonight or if it's gonna be someone else picking that one up. So far. Okay, this time I'm twenty eight XP out of the uh, twenty eight HP out of the sixteen. So the first time was thirty six and now it's twenty eight. I'm going getting lower. Damn it. Just with the first bar that I have up there. Uh, overlay already switched and uh, we are in the dark right now, but we'll make that change. We'll go over to the dire side first. Actually, they're not complete just yet. We'll go over to the radiant side where we see uh, Key Smash Gaming and they have a nice logo actually. Yeah, that's actually quite nice with the Dota 2 logo. Yeah, I like it. Nice flags also with the key. Yeah. It's going to be only who's going to be playing the Chaos Knight. Wavia is going to be playing the Klinx plus low. It's going to be playing the Shadow Demon. And it's going to be Zushi, who's going to be on the Lina, which will leave only one that's already out of the base. It's going to be Holy Suya, who's going to be playing the Doombringer for his team. And that will bring us to Eclipsia, of who I'm just going to... Oh, there we go. They changed their, t their names, or at least one did. Uh, Mag is going to be playing the Darkseer. We have Unstop playing the Templar Assassin. 
Let's see who's uh, playing the the Jakiro here. I do think that might be Artsal himself. And that's actually always want to fly. So that is him. And that will leave us to what we saw on stuff. That's always want to fly. Mag. And that is uh, the Dragon Knight who is going to be playing by the dollar sign. And that will then be art style. That is art style. Okay. Well, that's done pun intended. Uh, we'll truly only do us to uh, pick up the last hero and be AFK. And that's the only one that we couldn't uh, decipher. So we have got always want to fly into Shikiro and art style. There, so both teams are entirely complete. As in, there is no players missing from either team. Dubas will be playing the champ, so that's gonna be the lineup. Arcel on the Dragonite, Mag on the Dark Seer, Onsup on the TA, which we have seen him do a lot of times and very deadly by the way. Uh with always wanna fly in Jakiro. And uh yeah that is everybody right there. So Mag solo side lane for him. I mean the lanes are pretty easily decipherable for Eclipsia. As uh well we still don't really know what this Doom is gonna do. Looks like he might be going solo still though as in We'll be going solo still. Everybody going towards the top lane apart from this clink, so we'll be definitely be going solo lane, but solo easy lane, so easy to deal with there. And uh, we're gonna see if they're gonna be able to pick up a first blood here. That's of course why Doombringer is there, and Doombringer also wants to maybe get a creep there because that's the, like the restriction is gone, and he needs to find that good creep, but he needs to wait for a long time. Oh, they're gonna find the Jakiro though. There's tr disruption, follow-up stuns. That will be a, I think that will be a kill if they find. Something like a Jakiro. If they find a Dragonite, they might not be so lucky, but now that Jakiro saw them there, he's gonna be a lot more careful and he's not gonna be going out there anymore. And we're being placed, no no creeps there. Doombringer will have to get his creeps from around here. And I say here because this is the bigger, bigger stack rather than this one, there's all small, small ones. And wars being placed all around. The battle begins. I wish I could stand up to get myself a new drink, but I can't for two reasons. One's I can't see, and the second there's a cat on my lap. <laughs> and I do have water though, but I mean like a more sports drink so that I get some more energy because actually when I sat down at two two AM I, I wasn't realizing that I was gonna be sitting here until the rest of the night. <laughs> So we didn't really prepare all that much, as in food and, and drink-wise, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna put up last to the nice. Oh, great, the sun is shining, which means that I can't really see this half of the stream. Screen, rather. Oh, no. oh well. Harassment going through, and it's gonna be a double lane in the mid lane. With the Shadow Demon as well as the Chaos Knight there. Will be a tough lane for the Templar Assassin. I mean, she still has Refraction. And there's not that much that can go to through Refraction that easily. Apart from the harassment, of course, from the Shadow Demon Disruption there. Right clicks there, and there's a two second stun. This might actually be a kill right now, but there's Refraction. That will make me she's safe. And that's. Oh, come on. Lena going down on the top lane. Chen picking up the kill, and then it's Doombringer that's gonna be able to back out here. Ice Path still laid down, but it's a bit too late for that one. Level 1 still on the Jakiro, level 1 on everybody. They managed to pick up a level 1 Lina as well. And uh, in the meantime, I, mean, I, I was following one potential potentials first blood, but the first blood happened top. Lina that drops. At least it didn't go to the Dragonite, I would say. Nay. In the meantime, Kling's gonna be last hitting stuff here. Should be fine, though. In theory, nobody off this lane should be dying. If someone dies, dies. On paper, it should be Mag. But well, we know Mag, and Mag is a very, very solid solo lane, so I don't think he's gonna die anytime soon, but we'll find out sort of soon enough. Last hit wise is 4 for 1 on the Klinks, and 9 for 3 on the Darkseer, so Darkseer already getting ahead there. As uh, we are gonna be having another uh, disruption, I think, soon, especially now that there's level 2 up on the Shadow Demon, as well as level 2 up on the Chaos Knight. So Riyadh's Rift as well, Soulcatcher on there, more damage going through if they actually catch her out without refraction. But they have to have that one first, but yeah, the refraction is just going to be very annoying. They can't have, and they don't have anything to really deal with that all too much. And Doombringer and Lina, quite an interesting lane. We do have Doombringer picking up the Ensnare, so Lina, Lina is stunned. We'll be able to to just go off regardless. As in with this with this ensnare there, it's a it's a good follow up stun. I do like it, I like it a lot. Darkseer gonna be getting more last hits here. Creep skipping. I really have to find a new name for that one because it's definitely not creep skipping. But yeah, oh that's only one second stun. Gonna throw down some harassment because that didn't really do anything with the refraction up on there. 
And Lina, or at least uh, Doombringer, is going to be uh, very high up in there. Doombringer, who is now 4 for 1 last hit. But it is Arcel that is 10 for 4. Arcel is getting the better of this. Of course, the semi trial lane for the dual lane is going to be taking the advantage here. Or should be, in theory, at least. As we got uh, Templar Assassin. Mid lane, 8 for 2. And 13 for 4 on the Chaos side. I'm quite surprised that Unstop is getting... Well, not, I shouldn't be that surprised. I mean, he's getting last hits for the dual lane. Getting experience as well. Level 3. Right now, almost level 4, with level 3 only just for the people here on the middle lane on the other side. And this uh, tornado will make sure that everybody from Eclipsia will be able to, to go in there without too much of a fear of getting harassed, because they, um, yeah, Key Smash is getting harassed a lot themselves. And the thing about a Doomring is that he does need levels and farm. I mean, he is, he's one of those heroes with, with zero start armor. That is very squishy. So he needs to have that, that extra armor that he can get. Uh, as well, Star Shield, of course, of course, helping out slightly with some block, but armor is what he needs. He needs some dark, so he creeps skipping again. There he goes. I mean, it will mean that Cleanse is getting some farm here as well, with the tower just uh, taking the heat, but tower will go down, or Cleanse will take a lot of damage, and that is just not what, really what you want. And then Mac, I mean, 25 last hits, doing the best of everybody right now. And if we consider lanes. Like who's winning what lane? I would say that the bottom lane definitely won by Mag. Top lane because of that kill already won by Eclipsia might be able to get it back though. Uh, depends on the levels that they're getting. But Lina's still level two, with Doombringer still level three. It is definitely Eclipsia that's winning the top lane. And I do think since the Temple Assassin hasn't died yet, it's still getting some last hits and it's getting extra experience. Oh, disruption there. Refraction is already on there though. Is there gonna be a stun? Only one second. That's not gonna be turning into a kill. The other three are still there, but that's not gonna be enough. But yeah, it's definitely also Eclipsia that's actually winning all three lanes right now. And again, Lina as well as Doom being forced back here. And the tower will take a lot of damage. Ice Path will lock in the Lina. And there's the damage. That's a faith. And that's Dragonite picking up the kill. Temporary Assassin. Immediately picking up a double damage. We're going to try to kill kills in the mid lane. But we're going to see Doom bring it first. So it's going to go down. Double kill there. As we see the TA, it was a... Uh, the, ah, there's the last one. I was going to say. It was the Shadow Demon that goes down to the Templar Assassin. Not able to save himself. And Chaos Knight out of mana. I'm not sure what he's thinking about doing here still. There's the melt damage. Couple more right clicks needed. And there he goes. Double kill for the TA. Two double kills. And it's 5 for 0 for Eclipsia. And the tier 1 tower getting killed on top of that one. And that is just painful. That is just painful for Key Smash Gaming. 1k gold upon the TA right now. And it's going to be Shadow Demon that is uh, bottom tower. trying to get some experience now that he's all by himself. Because Chaos Knight is going to run rather than anything else. It's going to run back. Not TP. doesn't have gold to do anything else. In the meantime, top lane is still having a lot of damage going through. Frostbath will make sure that Lina gets locked in there. So still the stun follow-up. As well as a net from the from the Chaos Knight, Dragon Knight. But the Chikiro picking up Lina. Lina is just still level 2, I believe. Not level 2. Where's her hair? Yeah. She's bald. Weird. Anyway, it is a uh, top lane. I mean, really, what can I say? It looks like it looks like King Smash Gaming is getting smashed right now. Uh, but yeah, they have heroes that need those levels, and they're not really getting those that much. And Klinks, he, he needs levels, but he needs gold more more than anything. He needs that. He needs that. Uh, what's it called? Orchid. And for now, I mean, he's not dying, that, that part is good, but he's not shutting down Mag either. 38 for 4 on him, and there's Templar Assassin picking up the Shadow Demon again. And Jakiro picking up the Tier 2, and he's getting a path, and there's Doombringer going down, and as Lina's Stun still hits, but doesn't slow them down enough. And that was, by the way, Shadow Demon mid lane against Templar Assassin. 3 for 0 right now, as Chaos Knight feels not safe to do anything here. I mean, there's really nothing they can do against the Refraction right now. And a Doombring at level 4 right now still, and is not eating creeps I believe right, or at least not that much. Now he can do it again if he wants to, getting that extra gold upon himself, no. Nope. There he goes. Still getting some last hits, 11 for 2 now though, it's really not that much. Make sure gonna put up that worth, look at that. And Dragonite going towards the mid lane. Or is he? Or bottom lane. <laughs> Drizzy to Dragon, it was actually the first time Klinks died, in the meantime mid lane is having some troubles as well, Disruption trying to save his own life from the Shadow Demon, he's gonna try to get away, 3 seconds on the TA will be enough though, Shadow Demon, 
still trying to get away, will still get picked up, though Lina Sun not hitting anything, and the TA gets the kill regardless, and here comes the Chaos Knight once again, 10 for 0 right now, and this, this looks like uh, that Key Smash is getting outplayed right now, their lanes are lost, and it is looking to be a bit of a one-sided game, with 7.5k gold in favor of Eclipsia right now, and Key Smash gonna find the Chen here. Is there gonna be a stun? It's gonna be Lina backing out, dying in the side. Trap's still going off on the Chaos Knight, but she doesn't want to die of that. She's gonna go for the tier 2 instead. In the meantime, tier 3. Tier 2 going uh, down on the bottom lane. Probably. 11 for 0. And we still have got Glings there, invisible, waiting to do something, but I don't think he can be doing something here. Maybe trying to get out some experience. Maybe trying to get an eye. But nope. Templar has not picking up the kill. He goes invisible once again. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. In the meantime, Tier 2 Tower getting pressured here. And we still have Lina level 4, Shadow Demon level 4. And even though Chen is still level 5, which is actually quite surprising, it is uh, just the levels that they're missing. I mean, that is just... They have the clicks with level 8, highest level there, but let's just put up that one. Look at that. It is just pretty painful. Three seconds on landing up on the Jakiro. Lina stun as well. There's the disruption as well. Soul Catcher on there. Up on all sub, but he's got refraction, will be fine. Macropire, Doombringer taking a lot of damage there and will die as well as the TA. That was the split damage, by the way, killing off the Shadow Demon. Darkseer picking up the Lina, 14 for 0. And I would not be too surprised if we see GG coming out at some point. Because what can Key Smash Gaming do now? They don't have the levels for anything, they cannot do anything, they cannot Laguna Blade anything, they need level 8 up on the like, Chaos Knight. And they need Klings to get some more gold. And Klings, he only died once, I mean. Yeah, we're 10 minutes into the game, but this is such a big difference. 12k gold, 10k experience, almost 7.5k experience, sorry, vacuum in there, gets all 4. AoE damage going through, and that is the Shadow Demon going down, Lina going down, Doombringer going down. And it's gonna be Chaos Knight that might still stay alive. No, he's dead too. Mega kill. Godlike on stop. And that is gonna be mega kill for the Chaos Knight. And that is gonna be a tier 3 tower in 10 minutes time. And 18 to 0 on Key Smash. I don't want to be making pun, but they're getting smashed. Oh, the chat already made pun as well. And there it goes. Has it's gonna be Barracks next. Four seconds down, still landing on Chaos Knight, but Chaos Knight level 8. Ice Path, vacuum in, and that is gonna be Hand of God going through. We already have the Clays going down to the Jakiro. Let's see, there, there goes the Shadow Demon, there goes also the Chaos Knight, and that's a triple kill for Jakiro with his macro fire. And the Donkey, what does it bring? Four staff complete there, Blink Dagger there. I mean, item wise. We can check items where we know what's going on right now. 21 to 0. This is a massacre, like, not a team fight massacre, but this is just a one sided massacre. It's gonna be Chaos not getting stunned. Disruption there, but Doombringer, level 6, did doom the Darkseer, though. This might be their first death right here on the side of. Eclipsia, level 4 there, It's gonna try to get away, well, will be able to do so, is the level difference that's making just so much difference right now, and the kills go on, 4 deaths again, and nobody died, still on Eclipsia, they're gonna go for the barracks. And really, there's the GG, no real surprise there, so this was a 4PL match, it was a very one-sided one, and we're gonna see if we can find another one that's not so one-sided, it was Eclipsia versus Key Smash, and it will be Eclipsia that will be moving on to the next round. There are seven rounds in total, and I believe this was round number three slash two. I'm not sure which one of the two. And, um, yeah, it was a 12 minute GG, so really, yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's the first time I see Eclipse on action on their new attack, by the way. And I cannot really say how well they perform, considering we don't really know Key Smash. It might just be, uh, that they're like. The level difference is just too big. 
I'm gonna just uh, sit here waiting for the throne to explode. My name is Sheeber. You can support me on my YouTube youtube.com slash Sheeber Gaming. And I'm just gonna have to uh, wait until the throne explodes until we can see what's gonna come up next. As long as uh, people are happy killing off fountains. Buy back from Jakiro. That was the first skill they had. And Jakiro buying back, buying Dagon. And it's gonna be TP to the tier 1. We'll be back here shortly. If he's in time, we don't know. There's a CHP pitting on the tier 4s. And Mac had enough now as well. Or had he? And that's gonna be another kill. Lena getting a kill. And Lena and Kaelsnet are the last two alive here. That doesn't DC. Reality Rift, done. Four seconds, doom, and that will be a third kill. But yeah. That's the kill. And that's gonna be the start of the throne as well. Buybacks from everybody. Who's gonna watch this though? Enough fountain spam spamming. And we're gonna see which game is gonna be coming up next. Okay. Sorry, I'll let you see this. Ha ha ha. Ancient, is under ancient being attacked still. We have the Ancient's HP ticking down, so here you can see the creeps getting uh, closer to uh, ending this match right now. Uh, yeah, of course, I mean, 4PL Cup is a cup that's open for every single one, so the, the skill difference between the teams can be very big, like this one. It's just, it's good practice for both teams, and it's a chance to fight against teams that are just very much higher, which is always, I mean, it's it's a nice experience, even though this was maybe really not not the experience that they wanted for. But you have a chance, and you can prove yourself against teams that are known. So, it's a, it's a good opportunity there. But you know, sometimes it doesn't work out like this time. Anyway, let's jump ourselves out of the game and see what's gonna come up next. Stay tuned.